Craig Edwards is aboard. How's that race looking? Well, Jackie, uh, once again, the Delta Queen has a lead, but uh, it looks like the Bell of Louisville is really beginning to pump up the steam now. They're beginning to pick up some speed. Both uh, boats made their turn at the end of Six Mile Island, and I was honestly just a little surprised that the Bell actually went ahead and went around the yellow buoy out there. Uh, the uh, Delta Queen had a good lead, actually made that turn on its own and uh, had the bow thrusters really pushing, made the turn very quickly, and the Delta Queen was still on its way upriver by the time the Delta Queen was beginning to make its way all the way back downriver. So now the Bell is beginning to uh, push into it and start to pick up a little speed. The uh, distance you can see between the two boats, probably very much to uh, a half a mile, and I think that's what Scott had referred to uh, earlier uh, as he was uh, watching the distance from the Bell of Louisville. On board the Delta Queen right now is Angela Martinez, and Angela's enjoying the lead, no doubt. Angela? That's right, Greg. Let the celebration begin. It already has been on the Delta Queen, and we talked a little bit about the wind earlier. It looks like once we made that turn at Six Mile Island, we uh, began to... Uh, sail right into the wind because right now it is very brisk out here and I am about to be uh, blown away but I was just trying to get an eye uh, on the Bell of Louisville and I, I can't even seem to see her anymore. Scott Reynolds, are you even back there? Are you still sailing this race with us? Let's talk a little bit about this race now. Scott says uh, sabotage. Did I hear that word? Talk about sour grapes. At some point you've got to admit that we've got the bigger boats. We've got the more powerful boat. Looks like this year we might have the better boat, too. Uh, I'm going to introduce you to somebody who knows all too well about the winning ways of the Delta Queen. Mrs. Prater, can you come over? This is Helen Prater. She is the daughter of the pilot, the captain of the Delta Queen back in 1947. Is that correct? Uh, he was the pilot on that particular trip. Now, how much has Steamboat changed since you were a little girl? It has changed tremendously. When I was a little girl, they were used to be a packet boat that carried freight, livestock, and, and passengers. But now it's all, all passengers. And mostly recreation, right? Right, right, uh-huh. Now, tell me a little bit about uh, uh, what it's like to come back on this boat after 50 years it's been now since the first time you stepped foot. Well, of course, it hasn't been 50 years, but, uh, you know, I've just, uh, at, at different intervals, I would come back. But, right. uh, so you come back periodically and enjoy it? Oh, yes. I've got three trips lined up for this year. <laughs> and this may be a foregone conclusion, but can we get a prediction on the race? Well, unless something happens between now and the finish line, we'll win. <laughs> <laughs> sure looks that way. Thank you so much, Mrs. Prater. Enjoy the rest of the race. Thank you, uh, of course, the Delta Queen trying to get back those coveted uh, gilded antlers, and it looks like we're a lot closer to doing that. There's that steam whistle. All right, and as Beth Merrill is going to tell us right now, the captain... <laughs> We're just going to let you enjoy the sights and sounds of the Delta Queen here on the Ohio River this afternoon. But right now, we're going we're gonna to tell you, Beth Merrill is going to tell us, rather, that the captain of this steamboat uh, is very familiar to this river as well as Louisville. Boy, she's a pretty sight, though, isn't it? It's a real steamboat, my friend. This is Old Home Week for Captain Doc Hawley. From the deck of the Delta Queen, he looks back at his own history on the Bell of Louisville. I started out my career on the Bell as a calliope player and popcorn popper when I was about 16 years old and uh, ended up being captain on her in the 70s. But this captain also loves the Delta Queen and this race. You've got two grand old ladies, the 83-year-old Bell of Louisville and the 70-year-old Delta Queen out here slugging it out for a pair of deer antlers, or elk antlers, which is the symbol of the fastest boat. The Delta Queen is larger and heavier, which can be a disadvantage. So don't even think this race is fixed. And it really gripes me to say, have people say that it's fixed because this means too much for both crews on both of these boats to have this race fixed. There's no question Captain Hawley is out to win. I have a lot of friends here. I don't know if I have a lot of friends after today, after I beat the bell, but... Uh... 
But now there's work to be done and another page of history to be written. Steve Merdell, the Queen for Radio Chat. Beth Merrill, Wave 3 News. All right, thanks, Beth. Back out here live on the Delta Queen, we got a Dixie band behind us, and the celebration has truly begun in earnest as we uh, start to make those last few miles to the Second Street Bridge. And uh, right now, I think folks are beginning to savor the feeling of uh, recapturing those gilded antlers. Uh, I certainly am. Eat your heart out, Scott Reynolds. Mark Twain. There's that whistle. Mark Twain. At some point, I'm going to get this out today. <laughs> Mark Twain once said that there's no better racing than steamboat racing. I don't know if the Churchill Downs folks would agree with that, but today I can tell you it is an enjoyable day on the Ohio River, Jackie. Wish you could be out here with us, but uh, we're trying to show it to you as best we can. As so it's almost like you're out here. It looks like a lot of fun. It is tough to compete with that whistle. Thank you, Angela. Delta Queen looking to even up the score this year. We will continue to follow the race and let you know how it's going. Right now, we want to check in with Wave Three's Nell Taylor, I believe, who is uh, at the water tower where there's a big chicken there watching the boats come <laughs> I by. Now, familiar here? That doesn't look like me, Jackie. Nell, you've no, changed your that's hair. No, like Kentucky Fried Chicken, and he's come on. Let's hear it. Who are we rooting for here, guys? Who are we rooting for? the turn oh man they were really rooting great and the chickens doing a terrific job here i gotta tell you excuse me chick <laughs> unfortunately all the cheering in the world hasn't helped that old bell today i sure wish i knew what was going on but uh people are consoling themselves and the fact that it's uh won the last two years so they're kind of patting themselves on the back pouting a little bit but they've been great cheerleaders jackie well, they look like good cheerleaders, and Nell, uh, we can see a boat in the picture there behind you. You see it. They're, they're right up on us, Nell. Let's go over here and look at it. Can you uh, ease through here, John? You get in front of me and watch that boat coming. I think that's a... Uh, uh, it must Jackie. be the Delta Queen, I have to yeah, tell you now. I know it. That looks like the Delta Queen. We can barely see that poor old Belle of Louisville back there. Oh, no. Well, she's back there working up her engine. She apparently got a little molasses down in her boilers, but they're working that out, okay? Oh, yeah, I hope so. Well, I hope they in, work it out real soon. In fact, we'll go, go to the source, perhaps, and find out some more information. Uh, thank you, Nell. Scott Reynolds is on board the Belle of Louisville for his first boat race. And uh, are they still working on that molasses problem, Scott? Or you got some secret weapon? Or what's happening? Uh, I don't know what we can do unless we get some afterburners from one of the jets that appear to thunder over Louisville, Jackie. I don't think we're going to get enough power to push us ahead of the Delta Queen right now. They've been working on the molasses down there in the fuel oil, but uh, they haven't been able to thin it out enough. And I think that we just don't have enough speed and enough power. We're getting blown away in more ways than one. It is really breezy, and it's definitely slowing us down. But we got some guests who are enjoying it anyway. Dara, you're from Middletown? Jefferson Town. Jefferson Town. And uh, you've been on here before, huh? Uh-huh. How fun is this for you? It's pretty fun. You brought a friend today. Yeah. Who's she? Heather. Okay, Heather, uh, what's it like, your first race? Uh, I don't know. It's, I mean, I've, nev I've never been on a boat like this before, so it's kind of fun. And uh, y your parents aren't even here, are they? No. You're staying out of trouble? But we're losing. What's the problem there? Uh, I don't know. See, that's the problem. Nobody knows why we're losing. Maybe John Ramsey from Oldies 103 knows why. John, any ideas? I tell you what, I think what we need to do here is perhaps maybe we could have like Pat Day aboard with the big whip and beat this thing like a rodeo horse. <laughs> Something like that. Or maybe Jack the Lane, you know, pulling the thing. You think that would help? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm afraid not. <laughs> Keep working on it's it. It's ugly, isn't it? Oh, it's ugly this, right now. This is brutal. But it's a beautiful day. Yeah. And the spirit is here. So, yeah, we'd like a win. But, hey, what the heck? Can you beat this? No. I'm, no. <laughs> and I think you had the point that the uh, guy in the Delta Queen's a little mad about what happened last year. I think he's mad. I don't know. And he's taking it out on us. But, uh, hey, that's okay. We're having a good time. And who knows? We may still catch him. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, there's still yeah. some hope here aboard the Bell. Uh, surprisingly, Jackie. But uh, right now, I'm saying we've got a good two-thirds to three-quarters of a mile to make up on that big boat ahead of us. All right, uh, you just keep working on it. We'll check back in with you. It, it still is a lot of fun, right? Regardless of where you finish. It's a fabulous time out here, and there's more than 900 guests on this boat enjoying it right now. And I don't think they're all that concerned about winning or losing. I was just joking earlier. They'll, they'll work on maybe getting ahead next year. Thank you, Scott.